This video is created because I wanted to let people know how dangerous it is to synthesize silver fulminate and what to be precautious when making this. Silver fulminate is an extremely dangerous explosive. As I got this video to be age restricted, I recommend you not to replicate this experiment and if you want to do, please do not start with more than 1.5 grams of silver nitrate. Silver fulminate like mercury fulminate is considered primary explosives. Depending on your regions of living, the law could vary and it is necessary to check your country's law. In Korea, any person is not allowed to post anything containing information about the synthesis of explosives. Also, you should belong to some facilities like school and you should be more than 20 years old to make one. Silver fulminate is an explosive that is commonly used in bank snaps, which is a toy that creates a large sound when it's thrown to the ground. The reaction between the reactants are extremely exothermic and when it starts to boil up, it is almost impossible to control the reaction. Silver fulminate is precipitated out as a white solid. Interesting fact is that the bond between silver and carbon is closer to the covalent bond because silver has a relatively high electronegativity. It is also noted that you should not start with more than 1.5 grams of silver nitrate because it could detonate in its own weight. It is also important to carry out all the reaction in plastic container because it has possibilities of blowing up. It has a similar structure of a cyanide which means that it can be pretty toxic. However, it is not ionized and separated to form an ion. But when you put this on an acid like hydrochloric acid, it has some possibilities of creating hydrogen fulminate or fulminic acid and this can easily kill you. It is also pretty UV sensitive. In the day that I performed this reaction, it had quite a lot of UV present and nitric acid that I used decomposed extremely quickly, concluding that the day had pretty high UV index. When it exposed to UV, it changed to light blue purple color. I wanted to experiment its color changing properties, but I cancelled it. When it comes to filtering, this is the part that you should really pay a lot of attention. Wet silver fulminate is not that sensitive, and it doesn't explode when on the contact like light scraping with metal spatula. But I cannot guarantee that it doesn't explode in your batch. The UV decomposed blue silver fulminate was still wet, so I dried on the desiccator with calcium chloride. Small parts of the wet silver fulminate was tested, and considering that each test was carried out with quantities smaller than 1.1 gram, its explosion is pretty big. Also, it is necessary to get your earplugs, masks, gloves, visors, and other protective gears. I also recommend you to detonate this stuff on an aluminum foil because it doesn't really hurt you when it explodes. After wet silver fulminate is dried on the desiccator for 24 hours, I tried to get a little bit out of it. I don't have a video footage of this because I didn't expect it to blow up, so I was not even wearing my earplugs. Literally, because I don't have re any reason to lie to you because this video was made to inform you guys, as I tossed the silver fulminate with metal spatula, the whole 1 gram of silver fulminate detonated instantaneously. The sound of the explosions was so loud, and at the moment of the explosion, my ears started ringing. Right after the explosion, I went to the hospital and got some tests, and fortunately, there was no puncture in my eardrums, but doctors said that my hearing nerves are lightly damaged, and it will recover within a day. After 4 days, I still have some small ringing, and I should get some further tests. And that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe and if you want to correct anything in my video, please leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching.